Automotive visionary Horatio Pagani has spent seven years trying once again to push the boundaries of the hypercar envelope. We're at a point in the history of the automobile where everything is fast. When you have a family sedan that can keep up with a 10-year-old supercar, what are you going to call the stuff that's one step ahead of that? Pagani stays ahead of the competition one cut, one bolt, and one car at a time inside of a facility located on a tiny side street in a small industrial park, where 53 craftspeople endeavor to be perfect. While the building might be small, the ambition is grand. The Waira brings together so many new technologies, particularly in the realm of composite materials, technologies that have been studied for years I've worked with them for 30 years. Horatio Pagani's passion for carbon fiber starts as a young man. For the next 30 years, he masters his craft. His speciality is creating a carbon fiber monocoque. A monocoque is a carbon fiber tub. It's basically the passenger compartment in the safety cell. Monocoques are first developed for Formula One race cars. Eventually, they find their way into exotic hypercars. It's basically how race cars are built. Inside the Pagani factory, craftspeople build the Wira's carbon fiber tub by hand. We're in the section where we construct the carbon fiber components. Carbon fiber monocoques are extremely expensive to build. But Pagani's cost even more. Pagani weaves in titanium, and the titanium makes that mat stronger, so the plastic portion is less. Less plastic means less weight and more strength. The carbon fiber titanium monocoque is the company's signature feature. Every single one is made in-house. Pagani doing all their carbon fiber work in-house is an incredibly unique thing today. The process starts with a roll of cloth. Now we're looking at the area where the material is cut, which takes place in a separate room from the regular production process. Our material, our carbon fiber, comes to us in rolls. It's basically a bolt of cloth and glue, and you put those two things together and you get an incredibly lightweight and strong structure. They use a custom cutting machine to maximize the material and limit waste. Once shapes are cut, unique kits are made up of 222 components. The wire is made up of 222 components made of composites. Each component is made up of, on average, four layers of carbon fiber. I say on average because some of the components are made up of many more layers. But I can't say much more about that because it's a trade secret. Once the carbon fiber kits are done being prepped, they head to what's called the clean room. In this department, the pre-cut carbon fiber skins are applied to the molds. This is where the piece takes shape. The pre-cut shapes are applied to a mold and resin is added before pressure is applied. Once we finish the process we call lamination, that is, the multi-layer phase, all of these layers are pressed together. Why? To create a vacuum. It takes five sheets of carbon titanium to make one Pagani Waira tub. The sheets of carbon titanium used in the wire make posh wallpaper look inexpensive. Just one sheet of this carbon titanium weave is $500 per square meter, and it's only one millimeter thick. After the molds are vacuum sealed, they're ready for the autoclave, a large oven where heat and pressure combine to bake the wire's carbon fiber parts. Now we're in the section where the components are placed inside the autoclave. The autoclave cooks wire pieces between 120 and 145 degrees Celsius. This piece here 
If we expose this to 150 degrees Celsius for four hours, it will become deformed, and the resin which has hardened will return to a consistency of honey. To make a carbon fiber piece, you basically take this mat of carbon fiber fabric, you cut it to the right size, and you put it in the mold, you squeeze down on it really hard, and you bake it in a vacuum. Each carbon fiber body part is hand fitted and expertly shaped in a quality control department that's more high tech laboratory than factory. Carbon fiber as a fabric isn't beautiful, but to get the pieces to match up when you have this three dimensional weave is not easy. And the seams on this car are invisible. Their pieces are matched up against each other. And that's what you're paying for. If you're the type of person to understand that, you'll really appreciate it. I mean, you see the way the carbon fiber weave is all fitted together, how it all works together. It's just impeccable, impeccable detail. The importance of the carbon fiber can't be understated. This brick, you see, represents what we're doing with our vehicle. It's a brick that weighs less than a kilogram, and it has structural characteristics that are identical to this steel, which weighs four kilograms. Four to one weight savings helps the wirer reach incredible speeds. Once the pieces are perfectly fit together, the bodywork heads to paint, while the monocoque heads to the final assembly area. We are on the first station for the assembly line for the Pagani wire. We can see some of the components here. This is uh, the front chassis. Well, it's an amazing thing to put together a car. A car has more parts than you can probably imagine. Ordinary automobiles are made up of around 3,000 parts. The wire has over 4,700. When they say there's 50% more parts in a Pagani than there is in a typical car, it's really not that surprising because there's parts on top of parts on top of parts. Each part speaks to one man's obsessive vision to create automotive art. I'm not going to diagnose the guy, but he certainly seems to be on the OCD spectrum. The car is just that detailed and perfect. It's just crazy. I mean, it's obsessive. The attention to detail is expressed by the handwork done by expert craftspeople. It's hand assembled. Everything about this car is meticulously thought out. The attention to detail in the Pagani is off the charts, and that's what you would expect for a car that costs so much money and takes so long to build. In a mass production factory, a new car can roll off the line every 60 seconds. A Pagani it takes three months to build just one wire. They have that kind of buyer who's willing to wait for something that's perfect. Behind every Pagani component, uh, there is the thinking that is art and chance can work together. Every build starts the same way, with the carbon fiber monocoque. One feature that I believe that is very interesting that the fuel tank, it is installed inside the monocoque. They move the front subassembly into place, then bolt it together using special titanium hardware. Every titanium bolt has the Bagani logo etched on it. I mean, that's the kind of attention to detail that you just, you don't see that anywhere else. The obsession with details comes with a heady price. A single titanium bolt costs 68 euros, and the wirer uses 1,200 bolts. Each is lined up precisely. Titanium bolts that are all indexed in a certain way with the Pagani logo laser etched in them. A single set of titanium bolts is worth over 81,000 euros, three times the average yearly salary in Italy. You sort of get the feeling that Horatio Pagani wants to use the best, most expensive materials on this car. It's almost like the guy is looking for challenges for himself. 
The front subassembly also carries two of the Wira's carbon ceramic Brembo brakes. We equip our vehicle with a carbon fiber brakes. We have use of the carbon fiber brakes because the performance is high than a standard brakes, let me say. The 380 millimeter carbon ceramic brakes give the Wira awesome stopping power. We can start the, our car from 300 kilometers per hour to zero in less of seven seconds. And a single brake disc is one-tenth the length of an entire Volkswagen Beetle. Typically, a car with a really, really great braking system has four times the braking power of the engine. Four times the Wira's V12 engine is equal to almost 3,000 horsepower. That's nearly two megawatts of energy, enough juice to power a 1,000 houses. It's taken Horatio Pagani seven long years to bring his newest hypercar creation to life. But when you're building automotive perfection, no amount of time is too excessive, especially as you get ready to install the single most important part of the machine.